to go if you want. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 25 years ago, I decided to make my living by standing in front of a room full of strangers and making them laugh. For two years, I was a stripper. <laughs> From here, I go to Texas. I love to perform in Texas. I like to go to Texas for personal reasons as well. Get a chance to visit my son when I go to Texas. Got a three-year-old son in Texas. Not something I like to talk about. <laughs> Typical story. Down there performing a few years ago. Met a nice young lady after the show. We had a few drinks. Things got a little crazy. We adopted the little bugger. <laughs> but I don't drink anymore. At least not in Texas. And not without an attorney at my side. But I'm a modern man, you're looking at a modern man, I do all the shopping, I do all the cooking. As for the housework, I whack that right down the middle 50-50. Of course, I live alone, so only half this shit gets done. <laughs> Actually, I have a woman come in once a week to clean up. Actually, she comes in once every two weeks. Actually, I clean up, but I dress like a woman. Actually, I'm married, I have a wife, I have a spouse, she's a woman, she's a rescue. I don't like that word wife, it gives me the willies. So I introduce her as my ex-girlfriend, pretty much the same thing. You married men might wanna try that at home. Especially if you're tired or living at home. <laughs> My wife and I just celebrated 27 years of marriage. People ask me, how do you stay married to the same woman for 27 years? The answer is simple. I lost complete track of time. <laughs> My wife and I are members of the Mile High Club. I think you know what I'm talking about. That's right, we did it in the bathroom of a Greyhound bus parked in Denver. <laughs> she was complaining the other day, as wives will sometimes do. She said, why does your dirty underwear always end up on the floor? I said, gravity. This is a good thing. Believe me, you do not want to live in a world where my dirty underwear ends up on the ceiling. <laughs> she bought a pair of jeans the other day. She brought them home. She tried them on. She asked me that question. She said, do these jeans make my butt look big? I said, no. But they make everything else look small. I should have stopped it, no. <laughs> Delta Airlines has just announced they're going to allow breastfeeding on all their flights. I think it's the least they could do since they stopped showing movies. <laughs> oh, you can bet I'm watching. Coffee, soda, juice, I'll have what he's having. No ice. So here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, the strangest, most wonderful city on the planet. Yeah. I live here now. People ask me, oh, you live in Las Vegas, do you gamble a lot more? I say, no, but I gamble in different ways. For instance, I now buy meat at the dollar store. Las Vegas, now home to the world's tallest Ferris wheel. Well, they don't call it a Ferris wheel, they call it a observation wheel. Who named this? Observation wheel. That's not fun, that's not Vegas, that's not fun. Observation wheel, sounds like something you avoid at the doctor. <laughs> Remove your pants and have a seat on the observation wheel. <laughs> I'll hear some lube.
I was at a place where people were drinking martinis, or so they claimed. These drinks they were drinking had plenty of exotic ingredients, things like chocolate liqueur and coconut juice, and funny little names like chocolatini and coconutini. This is an abomination. Where I come from, a martini is a martini. It's got three ingredients, gin, vermouth, olive, and it. But I figure, why fight it? I've come up with my own idea for a new martini. You know that juice in the bottom of the hot dog pack? <laughs> Stay with me. I'm thinking of calling it a Marwini. <laughs> or maybe a weenie teeny. <laughs> but there's not a man or a woman among you who would ask for a teeny weeny. Think about that, it would kill ladies' night. <laughs> yes, I'd like a teeny weeny. I'm your man. What? <laughs> you see this lot in the casinos, walking around, you see a gorgeous girl accompanied by her two somewhat less gorgeous girlfriends. I like to call that change for a 20. <laughs> That's a 10 and two five. And if it's the wedding party, it's a 10 of five and five ones. I gotta go. Before I go, I wanna tell you uh, one more thing. If it wasn't for crowds like this, I'd be exactly where I am today. Thank you very much, good night. My name is Brian McKim. Brian McKim, everybody. Awesome, dude. Thank you so much for being here.